Literacy increases access to everything. It's, it's really, um, I think of it as a right. It's one of your rights. It, it really levels the playing field when we're talking about equity, access to things. Um, it's, it's really something also that without it really affects social emotional health and really affects self-esteem. It's something that you utilize every single day, all day, and it's something that's very prevalent if you don't have it. Tips for parents, it's always great to read to, to children, right? So anytime you can read something, especially if it's a little bit above their level so they can hear the language and vocabulary that comes along with some books that they might not be able to read right away, but that if you read to them, you can have discussions and increase that language. Um, honestly, some things with little tiny kids that you can do is lots of that singing and rhyming and, you know, even wordplay, right? So we talk about like the Banana Fana song with names or anything that they can do that just increases that language and that communication, the interaction between um, parents or caregivers and students. Those always accelerate when they're little. And then when they're older, if they aren't able to access reading the text themselves, just elevate that a little bit, do some reading, maybe some chapter books that they can't read yet, and have that conversation around characters and, and the language and the words that are in there. It's always good to have like journals or do a pen pal or something that just keeps those skills moving in the summer. Even, I know we can do it with technology so much easier instead of me writing the letters when I was a kid back and forth, right? But there's so many things that you can do that are just fun activities that keep that in the forefront of kids' minds for the summer.